And Derek with the Lemon X with you know, Spotswood, New Jersey. They're telling me they probably hear squirrels. They saw dead squirrels in the attic. And I said right away, you probably have raccoons in your attic in that case. And squirrels just don't go up and die in the attics. Raccoons uh, take care of the squirrels. So I probably seen body parts. You can see the insulation sticking out. And the soffit's all like buckled from the weight. Right here. I'm gonna go around here. I already saw also indications of uh, obvious past problems with raccoons. This is quite unusual. It gives me an idea on uh, how to prevent raccoons, but check this out. I've never seen this before where they wrap the chimney and keep the raccoons from climbing. I've never seen that before, but that is quite ingenious. It's a great idea, actually, but it didn't stop. It didn't stop the raccoons from getting in and chewing, chewing into the house. You can see a hole over here. Probably That was probably from squirrels. And this, I don't know. I don't know what to make of this. It's like a half moon. Like I think that was uh, raccoons chewing in there. I don't know why they had to make such a big hole. That's quite unusual. I don't even need to go in the attic. We already know something's in there. Also in the front, I didn't mention there were like a lot of nail pops, meaning the gutters weren't really attached to the fascia plate here. Could have been just le uh, water damage. It looks like water damage where there was leaking. So whatever's above the gutter line, water's getting in somehow. I'm not sure if that's gnawing, but that's not animals. That's there's animals walking around up there and the weight of it, you know, because that's, that's just really thin the wand board. So, you, you, oh, you can, you can see where the gutters are, where the water comes out, the spout. Yeah, there's probably water damage there where the wood got soft. And you got a whole missing gable that just a big open hole that I mean, anything can get up there. So, I don't really need to really worry about have to verify that there's an actual problem they hear it. It's pretty cool. They capped off. They have these little dog ears are capped off. That needs to be reinforced. It's all brittle. That's about it. That's what I see so far. And, you know, needs, needs carpenter. I mean, we could do this work, but uh, this needs to be secured. So I'm going to give them kind of a roundabout quote in a range of a give or take $500. Yeah, I'm not going to really spend too much time working up a, a whole thing. I already have pretty much flat rate pricing based on uh, if it's raccoons or squirrels. And uh, I kind of expedite the pricing. So, if, you know, if it doesn't fit their, doesn't fit their budget right now, uh, we can offer at least to do trapping and they can you know call handyman if they wanted where our repairs come with a warranty including the animals versus if you call the handyman to do the repair uh, if animals go, got, got back in any part of the house they'd have to trap again they'd have to pay me to trap again but uh, I mean the house looks decent it's just need some TLC and it was kind of left non-paintained and some critical spots and you know problem got worse and worse and contamination I'm sure you see all the pops on the uh, gutters the gutters are separating so house has got to be buttoned up it's, it's a nice do-it-yourself project uh, if you hire me as a professional I mean we charge charge prices as professionals and it's really strategic and it will be long lasting. All right, so I'm not gonna even do an inside inspection right now. I'm just gonna write a, uh, write a point, bullet point uh, email.
describe what needs to be done.